Kathy, who we're talking to, we're in her yard right now, and she lives on um, what used to be a smaller creek, I understand. So, um, how have things been changing here in your backyard? This yard, those trees that are right there used to be inside my garden. These ones right here? Right here. These tall, this uh -huh. tall tree right there used okay. to be inside my garden, at least inside three feet. And then we had this much before we went to the creek. This was just a few years ago. Our property, our grass used to be at the other side of that creek. And the creek was over in the front of your property? The creek was over that way. It was very, it was very narrow. It was probably, um, probably no wider than, oh, it's hard to tell. Um, Maybe half the size? It was probably, it was less than half that size, a quarter of the size it is right now. Okay, of the yeah. Yeah. yeah, and this is low. This is, this is very, very low. The water comes up way past that bank when it rains, mm -hmm. and it's just not a heavy rain. Not a not one of our our flood rains, but normal normal rains when it mm -hmm. rains a good rain will go clear back back there. We never mm -hmm. ever ever had rain like we had in uh, what was it 2008 I think is when mm -hmm. it started, and that was one of our first floods. So how and long have you lived here? We've lived here since 1975. Okay. So, quite so in 1975, as I say, our property was over there. Mm -hmm. We had a big yard once, and it's just totally like one fourth of it is gone. So you had your first big flood rain in 2008. Uh, it's eight seems like that was the first. I, okay. I can't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. And then we had we had another one after that that was less. And then in 13, we had another huge that washed out all of our washed out all of our property, our um, roads washed out the uh, railroad tracks down there. Way up to where that is was uh, flooded. There was, was water back here. This was all water. This was all water. Wow. And it, it'll come in over there at my neighbor's property and it'll just fill in here. Even in a heavy rain just down there. So this lawn that we're looking at is all... It used to be mud. Oh. Until we seeded it again. So you've been seeing these uh, sort of 24-hour heavy precipitation events uh, a bit more than you recall earlier on in living here? I've never seen them until 2008. Wasn't that the first flood? 2008? Yeah, so that's exactly 13, 13, years. 13, yeah, 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah. Okay. And then we had, well, we had heavy precipitation after that with already a full creek, so we had more flooding then, not as bad. And then 13, 13 was like a nightmare. Okay. It was totally like a nightmare because that when we had a hurricane tornado warning, we were in the basement and then it rained really hard and lightning and thunder. We had two dogs and a cat. We we're trying to keep them in the basement and the sliding glass door got opened and it was mm. just I mean that that was just beyond beyond any kind of comfort zone. You know? yeah. It was wow. just it was so stressful. We can handle, we can handle two inches of rain, even three inches of rain. If it rains steadily, stops, rains have, not real heavy, but heavy and stops. So if we have like a normal rain and still it rains a lot, the creek will rise up to our top of our bank, but it will not go over. Mm -hmm. It will sometimes come that way, but it never goes up over the bank so from that flood over. But if we get these horrible, horrible torrential rains that we get two inches in a half an hour or two inches in an hour, then it comes over this bank and then and then if it keeps up it goes clear up to the house. Yeah. You get traumatic stress syndrome after one of these because what you go through when you hear have the flooding is you have huge trees, I mean huge trees that rush down the river, I mean rush down the river, and you hear the cracking and the crunching of these trees as they hit other things. The other thing we had happen was a deer got caught in the flood, and I didn't know deer screamed, but you could hear the deer screaming because it had no control in that flood water. Nobody will ever understand until they see it, the power and the fierceness of the water that rushes down here. The water at those, at both of those floods, if you'll see that birdhouse over there, was as high as that birdhouse. 
Wow, the water level was as high. That's incredible. When we built this house, it was not a floodplain. Uh huh. And the creek was about yay wide. Thank you, Kathy, for sharing this with us today. You're welcome. Uh, I would be thankful if we could have a, a Yellow Creek um, Conservancy that yeah. would help protect us, which we have been working on. Um, but it looks as though the money issue will get in the way. Mm. Thank you.